Time now for this week's Ask Kelly segment. And today's question comes from Dan George of South Park. And he is asking about the barges that we always see in our action cam shots. Are they carrying materials to be processed or taking finished goods uh, away from being processed? Uh, who owns the barges? Uh, why do they park along the river there? Uh, thanks very much, Kelly. Well, Dan, we got with the experts over at Port of Pittsburgh Commission to find out. Barges move slow. It is easy to underestimate them. But speed up the footage and you see this whole ecosystem of transportation. It's really a, a little marine highway that nobody knows about. Pittsburgh is the start of the marine highway that runs 11,000 miles. Pittsburgh is mile zero at the mouth of the Ohio River and uh, goes to Cairo, Illinois, comes the Mississippi River. So you can go from here to New Orleans and all the attributes that are Memphis, Chicago, Oklahoma, Minneapolis. And it's a busy road. In 2020, Port of Pittsburgh says in our 10 county region, almost 16 million tons of freight was moved. Of that, about 49% were commodities received from outside the area. 33% were commodities shipped out of the area. And 18% were commodities shipped port to port within the Pittsburgh region. As far as what is moving along our rivers, the top three categories of freight are coal, crude materials, and petroleum and petroleum products. Just in our region, there are upwards of 30 ports where barges can be loaded or unloaded. The dock you see here in the Action Cam shot belongs to Campbell Transportation Company. That crew was kind enough to bring us on board one of their tow boats for a look around. This is typically what it is, a bedroom. This boat stays local. The crew goes home every night. But many towboat crews live on their boat for weeks at a time. This definitely takes a certain kind of person to want to do this job. The crew shows us the sophisticated technology they use to stay on course. This morning it was real foggy. I mean, shut out fog. So when you're doing that, you know, you have to blow your whistle like every two minutes and then you run off of this, you know, like it'll be in the middle there and anything that, that's green, you have to avoid. By sending material down the river, companies are cutting down on truck traffic. A single barge can hold as much freight as 72 tractor trailers. So this grouping we passed right here on the Ohio River. That's over 720 trucks that you're taking off the road. Not too bad. Something else I found pretty interesting. Without locks and dams, Port of Pitt told me we would likely be walking across the Ohio River. If these locks and dams weren't in place, the Ohio River, if you had a drought, would be about 18 inches and you could walk across it. Crazy to think about. Barges need a river depth of nine and a half feet. The Army Corps of Engineers carefully crafted Pittsburgh's lock and dam system to maintain that depth. The system works like an elevator to raise and lower the barges and all other watercraft. And a big source of the funding for lock and dam capital improvement projects, they told me, are the barge companies. If there's a question I can get answered for you, let me know. You can leave a voice message at the number you see on your screen, 412-244-4610, or you can jump straight in and send me a video message. You can share that with me in a Facebook message or by emailing askkelly at herst.com.